it's not your fault, then you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt guys I just want to show you my bump oh my gosh I feel like I have officially popped hi nice. hey baby it is what day is it it is Wednesday I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever um, all I can say about this morning is thank goodness for coffee and makeup because do you guys ever have those days where you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't fall back asleep until a half hour before your alarm goes off and then it's the worst thing ever getting up. That's what happened to me this morning. I woke up at three to pee because I have to pee like 500 times a night and usually I can get back to bed fine. Look at how cute she is. <laughs> usually I can get back to bed fine but this morning it just wasn't happening and I was awake until five and then my alarm was set for 5 30. I have a hair appointment this morning at 8 15 and it's at a new place so I just want to make sure in rush hour traffic that I get there on time and everything so I'm gonna leave in just a minute but you guys I am so excited this is so overdue look at this um I wanted to wait until I was out of that's better I was like zoomed in on myself oops I have not had an appointment a hair appointment since September of last year it's been so long I don't even know what they're gonna be able to do with this but um, yeah I wanted to wait until I was out of my first trimester to have a hair appointment and before that it had before I got pregnant it had already been a long time since I gotten my hair done so <laughs> it's just it's been a really long time so anyway why am I so out of breath so I am gonna go I don't know it's a new place a new person um, unfortunately, I can't go to my favorite ever, Adam, just because the weekends have been so crazy. And if you saw the last time I did a hair appointment vlog um, last summer, uh, my hairstylist and friend lives like two and a half hours away. So it's just, it's been so crazy lately that I'm unfortunately not able to get out there right now. Why is this so bright? So anyway, I'm trying this new place. Hopefully... It will be a good thing. I think I'm going to get my hair cut too because that is overdue. I don't think I'm going to bring the camera, like I said, just because it's a new place. But maybe I'll try and get some clips with my phone. But so excited for today. So excited for some self-care. I was up early. I did my tan, did my makeup. Um, I'm so excited to get my hair done and be blonde again. It's been quite a while since I picked up the camera. I took a nap when I got home. But when I get back in from the walk, I'll show you guys my hair. He did an awesome job. I'm so excited. I feel so much better after not sleeping this morning, taking a nap. I took like a two hour nap, so it was awesome. I have been really bad about vlogging today. Clearly it's been a while since I've done this. Um, I wanted to show you all my hair. So I did, I ended up doing biolage. I thought when the baby comes and I can't get to the salon too much, it would grow out a little nicer. And also I didn't want to have anything on my scalp for too long. and um, they just kind of painted on a little bit lower. So he did a really nice job. I think it looks really natural. I love the cut. I really needed it. It had been <laughs> since last July when I chopped my hair. That it had, That's how long it had been since I cut my hair. Um, so it was just like a grown out cut from when I had chopped it. Um, so he just added like some more movement to it. So it's more like swoopy. He did some long layers. I don't know if I can show the back. I'm not sure if that worked or not, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. He did a great job, and he also did, like, a gloss. Why are you whining? We just went on a walk. You're okay. You're okay. Trevor is on his way home from work, and I think we're going to go get sushi tonight. Obviously, I'm not going to have any sushi with raw fish. I usually get the vegetable rolls at one of our favorite places. I'm so excited. I get the avocado roll and the vegetable roll, but I could even do like a California roll or something if I wanted something with, you know, cooked, cooked fish. So maybe I'll take you guys to the restaurant with us. And yeah, honestly, I, <laughs> today I really haven't, like all I've accomplished today was my hair appointment. I fed myself. I napped. I walked Macy and I did the dishes. That's all I've done today, but I'm okay with it. I did not sleep last night, so yeah. And I'm feeling like myself again. My hair, it like, you know, we tried to leave as much length as we could, but um, it definitely, the, de the ends definitely needed to be taken off. It's officially March. 
I still have my Christmas decor minus the tree. I took the tree down like before New Year's, but what are we gonna do about that mace? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, I totally know what I wanted to show you guys. So, a few weeks ago now, we got a new bed and we used to have a queen. We upgraded to a king, you guys. But that meant that we had to switch bedrooms. So, this is our old room. <laughs> It is not by any means set up yet. Um, there's like a bunch of old pillows, things we need to sell. That closet is all music equipment. This, we think, is going to be the nursery if we end up staying here before baby's born, if we don't move. I'm not gonna show you up here because we have baby's name and that's all still a surprise, but we need a mattress still. This is going to be the crib. We actually got it from a family friend. It's a really nice crib. It was so sweet of them to give it to us. So that's why we have a crib so early. Come on, Miley. Anyway, this was the bedroom you guys are used to seeing is our bedroom. So our new bedroom, this is what used to be like the office. It is not decorated in the least, you guys. <laughs> but, and I still need to get like some throw pillows and stuff. We honestly haven't decorated it because we're trying to figure out if we're gonna stay here or if we're gonna be moving. This is the bed. It is ginormous and wonderful. Honestly, you guys, we had been needing a new bed for the longest time. Our old bed was so soft and just kind of like sunken in and we both would wake up in pain every morning just because our, our backs would be really sore. We're getting old and need like a firmer mattress. We had had our eye on this one for a while and we got it on President's Day sale. So we got a really good price on it. It was, they were doing a sale where the king was the price of the queen. So we couldn't pass it up. We'd always wanted a king and hi Miley. So we went ahead and got it and we thought what a better time when it's, a little bit harder for me to sleep being pregnant, like being comfortable and my back not being in pain was kind of a big deal. So um, we got, we invested in our forever bed or at least for the next several years, 10 it has a 10 year warranty. And we got a Serta memory foam, but it's a firm memory foam and it's amazing. I don't know why she's crying. She just went outside, she went potty, we took a walk. She's down, maybe she's like whining cause she wants, she knows Trevor's about to be home. I have no idea. I'm in love with this bed. I wake up and just feel so refreshed because I get really good sleep. Especially being pregnant and having to go to the bathroom like 500 times a night. In the old bed when I wake up having to go to the bathroom, I could not fall back asleep because I just couldn't get comfortable and now it's like I'm out like a light. Besides last night. Last night was the exception that I did not fall right back asleep and I was up for a while. That's the new bed situation. Yeah, but this room is not decorated at all. All we have on the walls are the TV, that driftwood that's been up there, and some old hardware from where we had, um, where I had like my little office, I don't know what they're called. It was like a, a wall thing with like pencil holders and a folder holder. Yeah, so there's like nothing going on. I don't think we're gonna decorate this room until we figure out what we're doing. If we're leaving in a few months or if we're staying. Also check this out. Hey Google, turn bedroom light to purple. You got it, changing the bedroom light to purple. Pretty fancy. <laughs> To TJ Maxx because what else do you do on a Tuesday night Wednesday night looking at phone cases no not really just seeing what's in the section. and they don't have any maternity clothes I asked I need some hmm. need a uh, fanny pack no I'm good on that we bought our first Adorable piece of baby clothing. I can't show it to you because it's still a surprise if it's a boy or a girl, I promise. We will tell you guys soon this month. Right now we're in the food section. Look at this. 
thing of nerds up here. It's ridiculous. The syrups. Well, you love the vanilla Starbucks syrup. Mm -hmm. You can have it for four bucks. What? This looks really good. Yum. And Trevor's never had a macaroon. I don't know if TJ Maxx is no. the first place to no. try a macaroon. No. Those are really good. Really? Yeah. You've had them before? Yeah. No. Oh, we need to get this for Trevor. The organizers. I'm in organizer heaven. It's this brand that everyone's obsessed with. Could someone in the comments explain to me the obsession with Ray Dunn? I mean, I think her stuff is really cute, but I didn't know it was such a big thing until I started seeing like all these Ray Dunn hunting videos. So someone needs to explain to me in the comments <laughs> what it's all about. Guys, this is crazy. TJ Maxx has the Too Faced chocolate bonbons palette. And all these Too Faced like highlights and blushes. Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's crazy. Just wanted to show you guys at TJ Maxx I picked up more rose water because I was out. Also, the baby clothes that I can't show you yet. And I got this lipstick. It's a Bare Essentials. It was $4.99. And I put some on my lips. It's like this nude, corally color. I love it. I think it's really pretty for spring. So, that's what I got for TJ Maxx. Anyway, I'm going to wash my face. Oh my gosh. Our floor is so creaky. We are snuggled in bed. I'm about to take my prenatals and all my vitamins. Hey, thank you for watching the vlog. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. All your life you've tried to be a good man inside. Did everything that you thought you should. Didn't seem to do you any good.